Hello and welcome to this FIFA 18 experiment. Today, we're going to be focusing on the teams that have won the World Cup in real life in the past. Brazil have won it five times, they've won it the most times out of all these teams. Germany and Italy, not too far behind with four wins. Argentina and Uruguay have both won it twice. And France, England and Spain have all won it once. We're going to be doing a tournament to see who is the better team on FIFA 18, there'll be a league and there'll be a knockout tournament at the end where we'll show you the gameplay. So the rules are that each team plays each other twice, so each team plays 14 matches. There will be a semi-final, like the English playoffs, the first versus the fourth team and the second versus the third team. And the winners of those two matches will play each other in the final to see who is crowned champion of the World Cup Winners' Cup. Anyway, France comes first, Brazil second, Italy third, Spain fourth, Argentina fifth, England in sixth, and Germany in quite a disappointing seventh, with Uruguay coming last. And that means that semi-final one will have France versus Spain, the blue kit versus the red and blue kit for Spain. This should be interesting, both teams are incredible, you've got the likes of Pogba, Griezmann, as well as in the other team, Iniesta, Ramos, PK, De Gea. They're both amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing the results. And Spain kicked the game off. Spain with possession now, and Barata picks the ball up, passed it sideways to Iniesta, forwards to Isco, who turns and shoots it into the top right corner. It's now Spain 1, France 0. Here's a replay and it looks even better from that angle. France on the attack here, finally gets a shot on, but De Gea saves it. And now Spain back on the attack with a great one too, and it's a goal. Iniesta and Morata work really, really well together, meaning it's now 2-0, and France have to score at least two goals just to make it to extra time. It could get worse if Spain score a third. Here's the replay, just under the right side of the keeper, meaning it goes in. So, can they do it? They've got a lot of game time, but they need to start attacking and scoring some goals. Here we go then. But it's some good defending from PK. Brilliant defending, and that means it's half-time. Two shots each. France are doing okay, but Spain are just too clinical, scoring two shots out of two. What can France do to change this and hopefully get back into this game? So in the second half, France are on the attack here and Mbappe gets his shot saved by De Gea. Matuidi on, Pogba comes off as well as another Spain substitution here. Thiago on and Koke off. France once again attacking. Mbappe has another shot saved from De Gea. So... Suso on and Silva on to try and protect this lead. So we have a short corner. Lamar with it. Still has the ball. Inside the box now. And Koscielny scores it into the bottom right corner. Past the goalkeeper. Finally, De Gea is beaten. And the goal scorer is Koscielny. As centre-back. That wouldn't have happened if Spain hadn't have given away a corner. But they did. And France dealt with it beautifully. Some good passing. And a simple strike. That's all you need to score in Spain. Lacazette again has the ball. Another good ball to Griezmann. And it's been saved again. These shots are just not placed well. Asenjo on Iniesta off. One of the better players in this match. Comes off the pitch. But then Payet on. And Lamar comes off. Another interesting substitution. Griezmann into the box here. But unfortunately Alba gets to it first. And it's put out of play for a corner. But they don't end up scoring from it and Spain end up going through. The French players look very, very sad to be knocked out this early on. But still, they did quite well to get to the semis. They did create a lot of chances, 8 shots to 2. But they just could not score enough and that meant that Spain won 2-1. Now we have the semi-final, Brazil versus Italy. So, the yellow kit versus the white kit. And this is like a tribute now for Astore, who unfortunately died in real life. Anyway, the game kicks 
off. Brazil with a chance here. Neymar goes to ground and it looks like it's going to be a penalty. I think that was a story, unfortunately. So that's not great for Italy. And it looks like to me that he just put his shoulder on him and he just fell over. I think that was a bit of a simulation from Neymar. But anyway, Neymar will take it. He's going to go and take the penalty and he scores it into the top right. A very good penalty from Neymar, meaning it's now 1-0 at an early stage. And it's off the post from Coutinho. Very, very close. How close can you get there without scoring? Immobile in here and somehow he misses. Somehow he misses that ball. And it's still 1-0. Anyway, it's a corner now, and they have a chance, but Alisson with an easy save. Neymar now is actually on the floor, injured. He's clutching his knee, and it's looking like Firmino is going to come on to replace him. Here we go then. Jesus to Augusto. That's a beautiful finish. Power into the bottom right, and that means it's 2-0 to Brazil. They are dominating this game right now. Jesus has the ball again. He shoots it, but a great save from Donnarumma. And they get their goal, their third goal, and it's Firmino. The striker who's playing out on the wing has been subbed on. He's been playing amazing. He's been playing incredibly in this game so far. And that means it's his first goal of the game. And Brazil's third. Another chance, another miss. But it could have been Augusto's second goal there. Gabi Adini goes for glory but he misses narrowly. It was quite close. We'll look on the replay here. How close was it? Very, very close to that post. And now it's half time. Brazil winning 3-0. They're absolutely dominating possession and for dominating the amount of chances that they have created. Eight shots to two. Here we go then, Fernandinho off the post. I think Donnarumma got a touch on that as well. So they were very lucky. William on, Coutinho off. Also, as a substitution now, Damien comes off and Insignia, the short player, comes on. We know here to Jesus, who's made it 4-0. Great shot there. Brilliant strike from him. Straight and powerful. But the created chance there is another one of Brazil's amazing chances. Adair on and Gabbiadini off. Can Adair make a difference? Also, Veration and Parolo off. Can he make a difference in this match? Into the box now. And they haven't scored it. Alisson with another easy save. Fernandinho into the Mino. And he scores it. Into the side nest. It's 5-0 now. And there's no way Italy can come back from this. It's a horrible game to tribute a story. But that's just how football is. And unfortunately for Italy, they've lost 5-0. It's been a total embarrassment. And that means that Brazil will go through to the final to play Spain. So the final is Brazil versus Spain. The yellow-kitted Brazil versus the white-kitted Spain. Who will win this game? We'll find out. But looking at the teams now, Spain seems to have the better team on paper. But... We just saw how dominant Brazil were against Italy. It's going to be a difficult game for both teams. So anyone can win it. So let's see who wins this game. And Brazil are going to be the team who kicked the game off. Will they score a goal from this or not? Who will win the game? That's kind of the main question right now. Neymar with a great ball but just misses the feet of Jesus there. Unlucky. And Jesus also hits the bar. Unlucky times. Another save from De Gea in this tournament. Into the box now. Neymar goes to the ball but seems to miss it. Goes straight into the back of De Gea. And that means that Neymar has created a foul. And he does get booked with a yellow card. So six shots to one. 56% possession to 44%. Brazil are absolutely dominating in that first half. Fernandinho on, Augusto off, and Thiago on, and Busquets off. Here we go then, Spain with an attack. Isco with the ball here, and he just misses it into the outside of the side netting. Unlucky. Neymar here, 
with an opportunity and it's off the bar. Nearly bounced down and in, but unfortunately it didn't. It's still in play though. Marcelo with the ball here and unfortunately it's wide. Nearly, so close. William on and Coutinho off. Into the box now, Silva across the box to Isco and they've scored their goal. It's 1-0, they're in a lead. Not very well deserved. Brazil should be scoring some goals in this game, but unfortunately they haven't. And now Spain have another chance. Morata hits it at the keeper. Firmino on. Jesus on. He's scored a goal in the last game. Can he score in this game? No, he can't because Brazil have lost the game. They've lost it 1 0. So Spain are the champions of this World Cup Winners' Cup thing that I've created today. And it's been a very good set of results, I think. It's been very interesting. They've thrashing a few interesting tight games. And it's made it really fun to watch. I've hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have, feel free to subscribe as well. It's not going to cost you anything, so you might as well do it. And then you can watch future videos that I upload. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Spain are the champions. And I will see you in the next one.